Calvin here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do side kick while breaking the forward for Taekwondo and breaking competitions. Breaking is a lot of fun, and it's an essential part of any combat martial arts training, especially like Taekwondo, Karate, Kung Fu. Because breaking allows you to practice your full potential of your potential power. When you spar and train self-defense, you can't go full out because you're going to end up hurting people. Breaking allows you to test your techniques full out to see the effectiveness of your technique. Now, when you just saw one, I had a stack of uh, pine boards, which is pretty standard for uh, competitions here in North America. And actually, right now, what we have here, these are what are, uh, we break before. And they come in multiple different colors, white, yellow, orange, green, blue, brown, and black. These green ones are supposed to be roughly one pine board, and these blue boards are supposed to be about one and a quarter. So you can get them on Amazon and any martial arts supplier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a proper breaking sidekick. With the proper breaking sidekick, you want to strike with the heel. Or even better, a flaming heel. You know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the stand and how to kick. So you want to have the flaming position that I've talked about in other videos. You're going to step forward, loading up your hip, chamber the knee, and kicking with your bladed heel. You know. So again, you're in a flaming position. You're going to step behind, lift your knee up and thrust forward with your blade and heel side kick. Remember, the less surface area, the more power is going to be transferred into your target. As well as, we don't just want to hit our target here, we want to drive a little way through. Let me demonstrate that. I'm pretty sure part of my foot hit the back of this machine. If you're lucky enough to have an awesome kicking machine like the one that my father and I decided to fill, awesome. If not, you would have human holders, and ideally you're going to have at least two holders. One holder on one side of the cord, one holder on the other, hanging on to the corner. Make sure your fingers are on the way, because trust me, it sucks when you get your fingers broken. Now, let's get you a different angle of what this break looks like and a little bit closer view of what's happening with my foot going through target. Again, you want to strike through. You want to strike with speed. Not how hard, not how powerful you be, but speed. Speed is key when it comes to breaking. Again, follow through is key. Speed and follow through. If you want more videos on ticking and future videos on some uh, breaking, make sure you hit one of the videos on the screen now and hit that subscribe button. And leave a comment below. Let me know your experiences with breaking.